Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this case, I'm going to show you how we can create some sliding var drab in SketchUp without any type of handle. So let's get to work. Before I start any type of drawing or 3D modeling, I'm going to click on the window, model info and change my unit setup from the a meter to centimeter. So I do this job very fast and quick and the display of the precision is really good. So I'm going to click on the rectangle and draw my first rectangle with some dimension about, for example, 44,88 and press enter. So now I want to click on the uh, push or pull option and start my job with the uh, foot place. So I'm going to press Ctrl and extrude about 6 cm. After that another time I'm going to click on the uh, this face and extrude it about some number near to the 200. And the result is something like that. Or I can use some lower number about 188 cm. So, at the first of these job about the wardrobe design, absolutely you will have some type of plan. But now I draw some type of abstract design without any type of floor plan and it's only related to my fantasy. So, uh, you absolutely have some type of divide, divide and selection. So, I'm going to click on this line in here, click on the move option, press Ctrl and start dividing my job for example a simple door about 26 centimeter in here and after that i can click on the control and take another copy in 31 centimeter and the result is something like that so i'm gonna click on the uh, offset in here for adding more details to my job for example wood frames but before I do this job, I can click on this line in here and these lines in there. Click on the move option and take another copies about, for example, 30 cm. So as you can see, now we can divide our job very fast and easy. For example, I can add some type of drivers on this place about 80 cm or something about 16 centimeter and take some different copies in 20 centimeter each and type 2x and press enter so now I have my job divide and selection and it's really good so now I can use the uh, offset in here for adding more details I'm going to click on the offset add these frames in there for example something about maybe 0 0.6 can be good and add it to my job like that pick up the uh, eraser box in there and erase all of these mutual lines and delete all of them very fast and easy so this job helps you to create more details about your woodworking jobs so now I want to push them back but I don't know how so I'm going to click on the uh, push or pull option and push the uh, first one about 42 cm and use this number for all of these divide and selection places. So I can remove all of these extra lines in here very simple and easy but be careful when you do this work because sometimes the SketchUp can't calculate all of these faces and edges. So the final result is something like that. I'm going to convert it to the group and now time for creating doors. So for creating the doors, I'm going to use component system for designing and modeling. In the component system, when you change one of the changes, all of the box and components will change at the same time. So I'm going to click on the rectangle and draw my rectangle in here. Click on it, convert it to the make component and press create so I can take some copies in there, scale them very fast and easy and do this job for all of my bodies. So I can click on that, extrude it and my extrusion is about one centimeter 
and if you want to add some type of detail you can do this on these jobs but right now it's good and these tall doors in there can be a closed door so I can convert it to the component again and take some copies in here scale them very fast and easy and repeat this job for all of my process so it takes a little bit time because you must scale and fit your boxes with the uh, dimensions now I can extrude one of them like that and the work is done so and the final step in there is these drivers so I'm going to click on the rectangle and draw some rectangle in there component component and create so I can take my final copies very simple and easy in here and extrude them like that so as you can see the job is done for us if you want more details what you can do about this drawing you can use one of these doors in there click on the rotate and rotate your job like that to make some realistic view of your job for example 44 degree for this one and for this job I can use the rotate option like that and open the door about 39 degree something like this as you can see the result is really wonderful and I can do this job for all of these doors and drivers so it's about maybe 22 and I think the job is really wonderful for the final step I can do this rotation for the uh, highest level of these doors in there at the upstairs so I can do this job for example something like that but maybe this one is better like this and the work is over so I hope you enjoyed this video guys you can download this 3d file below this video I will upload the link for you if you like this video please like and subscribe our YouTube channel thanks for your watching thanks for your support and goodbye